everybody, welcome back to the Hubia channel. My name is Nikki and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video today. Uh, today is my last day of quarantine. I am finally leaving tomorrow morning. I'm finally going to see my family. Um, but obviously because today is my last day of quarantine, I've just been packing up all my stuff, slowly putting things back into the suitcases and into my bag. And as I was packing, I realized that I wanted to share with you guys what I keep in my... What's <laughs> that mean? What I keep in my personal travel backpack. Now, the reason why I wanted to share this is because I realized that COVID restrictions with regards to travel is beginning to become less strict. People are starting to travel more often and as someone who has traveled back and forth from Hong Kong to Manila uh, in the past 10, 11 years of my life, I feel like I've kind of learned how to make my airport process less stressful and a lot easier to deal with. So before you start traveling, I just wanted to share with you what I do to make my airport experience a lot less stressful. <laughs> But before I open up my bag and show you what I have inside, I would like to hear from you. Do you plan on going anywhere this year or in general, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Me personally, I think I'm just gonna stay here in Hong Kong for a while because I've been gone for quite a long time. But I guess aside from Hong Kong, I just see myself going back to Manila to make sure my house is okay and <laughs> everything, my responsibilities in Manila are also okay but i would really love to go to europe to uh the netherlands specifically but where would you go let me know in the comments down below and while you're down there i hope you don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the hoodian channel and ring that bell so you are notified every time we upload a brand new video this is my travel backpack i've been using this for a few years now, this is Adidas. As you can tell, I do really like Adidas as a brand. <laughs> um, and it's my favorite color, pink, like this like baby pink. And it, it fits a lot of things inside. So I really do like this. And we're gonna start off with the thing outside. And this is simply hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. So I just like to keep that on my bag, specifically outside, so I don't have to reach in and grab it. And let me just open this up and in no particular order, I'm just going to show you what I keep. Starting with a charging cable, also in my favorite color. It is the color pink. This is, what is this? Verbatim. <laughs> this I got from Hong Kong. Actually, I normally keep this in my car um, so that I can charge while driving. However, obviously, but you'll notice I don't have a power bank. And that's because I normally just traveled from Hong Kong to Manila, which is generally a short a uh, plane ride, but I don't, I don't bring a power bank. I probably should, now that I think about it in the future, I should probably bring a power bank, but um, normally my charging cable is good enough for me. Next up, I have two cameras. Uh, basically, you'll notice a lot of the things I have in my bag are like um, fragile things, I guess you could say. I have this one, the, oh, I nearly dropped it. My insects camera that I showed you guys a few weeks ago. I love it so much, 10 out of 10. <laughs> if you haven't seen my review, oh, not review, unboxing video, uh, be sure to check it out because I really, really do like this camera. Highly recommend it. <laughs> and the second camera that I have is my vlogging camera. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket, I think. It's like this little gimbal um, camera thing where the, the camera is like super stable. I love it. <laughs> I've had this for a few years now. The quality is incredible for something this small. Next up, I have a pair of shades. Uh, this is super, super necessary, especially because I tend to get on like uh, morning flights, like first flight out. So I'm at the airport at like 3 a.m where it's still dark and then when I get on the plane the sun starts to rise and actually when we get up in the sky it's really bright <laughs> like really bright and when I land it's even brighter <laughs> especially because I like to sleep on the plane if I can um opening my eyes to like incredible brightness shades are so 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 useful they I don't know what I would do if I didn't have shades uh, for my flights because it's just, it's too bright. It's too bright for my liking. I, I don't have the patience for that. And this 
um, was a substitute for something I normally have in my bag normally. <laughs> this is a pepacua, you guys know. I think I showed this in my what's in my bag video. This is not too different from my what's in my bag, but the reason why I say this was a substitute is because normally I like to bring a reusable water container. And the reason why I didn't bring one this time is because of COVID restrictions. I wasn't sure if I would be allowed to use the drinking fountains at the airports. I didn't think they would be uh, readily available. So I just didn't want to put extra weight in my bag if I wasn't going to be able to use um, the actual water container. So the reason why this is a substitute is because, well, I got really thirsty. Um, and having flavored candy, specifically pepacua, um, distracts me from my thirst if I just keep it in my mouth for a really long time. Kind of, it's like kind of like low budget juice. <laughs> So this was super useful, but I still highly, highly recommend having water because uh, it's really dehydrating on a flight. Uh, obviously, I bought water before getting on the plane. Now I'm going to show you the thing that I highly recommend out of all the things I'm going to show you in my bag, and that is my travel wallet. This is from Typo. I don't know if they still sell this. They probably do. But I've had this for a really long time now, and ever since I started using it, I just can't go back to not using it. So again, this is my travel wallet, and it houses my, my passport, and uh, it also actually, so there's my passport, but it also fits this yellow vaccine passport, which I can't get out right now because, well, there we go. <laughs> this, uh... International Certificate of Vaccination or Prophylaxis. If you want to enter Hong Kong from the Philippines, you need this. And I think you need it uh, to enter other countries as well. Basically, it has all your passport information along with your vaccination uh, information because they don't uh, take your like vaccine card because they're very easily replicated. So if you want to get out of Manila, I think I think you always have to have this. I think, I'm not sure. Um, I have a pen always because oftentimes you do have to fill out forms for immigration. And it's just so much more convenient to always have a pen. I also just in general don't like using pens that are offered um, in public. I just, I like having my own pen. One, because I know it works. Two, I know the way it signs. And three, I know that I'm the only one who's touched it. In here, I have my Hong Kong uh, residence card because, I don't know, I just I just keep it in here. <laughs> and then I have my also my Hong Kong octopus card in here, which I think I need to replace. And then a photo of my dog because I love her so much. And this is obviously big enough to hold my phone as well. And obviously papers like your boarding pass, etc. So essentially, I don't actually keep this in my bag. I'm always carrying this um, outside of my bag because it has all the papers I need to show. Um, and I could just, I don't have to reach into my bag all the time. It's just always in my hands. And yeah, I just, I love this so much. I, <laughs> I'm so grateful that I've had this for years. It has made things so much easier when it comes to airport traveling because I just hate opening my bag all the time. These next few things can sort of explain themselves, so I'm just gonna blaze through them really quick. Um, first is my wallet. I do not go anywhere without my wallet. <laughs> Super important, uh, regardless of where I'm going. Uh, I also have my planner in here just because sometimes, sometimes on the plane I don't sleep and so I like to work on some things that I need to get done on my planner. I also have my Switch. Now this is essentially a new addition because I only got my Switch in 2020, but before it used to be my Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> but obviously because I have a Switch now, I carry it in my bag just in case there's like long waiting times, like checking in or maybe even waiting for your suitcase it's just nice to keep yourself distracted and it's it's cute you guys know i am essentially pikachu because i sneeze like pikachu so that's why my case is pikachu but my switch is super 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 important and then obviously this is a no-brainer i 
my ID cards. Now that I'm in Hong Kong, I honestly don't see the point of this <laughs> because none of these are for Hong Kong. I'm probably just gonna replace it with things that I normally use for Hong Kong. But this is just a, it's a no-brainer because ID cards. <laughs> now this I normally don't use on my flight unless I really really need to or if it's a longer flight like if I'm going somewhere other than Hong Kong or Manila and that is <laughs> my gadget. As you'll notice it's the same as my, <laughs> my bag. You guys know I love Adidas and in here I keep my card. Oh, do you hear that? I have my iPad and my Apple Pencil. And then I also have my laptop. Now, again, I don't normally use this because I prefer to sleep on flights, but uh, some instances, as you guys know, your girl is lazy. Sometimes she procrastinates a lot and she has no choice but to work on the plane. Uh, so it's just really useful having these in my backpack uh, if I want to work and also in general I like having this in my backpack because I feel like if it breaks at least I know I can blame myself. Now honestly the rest of the things are just like tiny things that are not super important but I do have them in my bag because I do use them. So we'll start with this. This is just a bottle of alcohol. This uh, spray bottle was so 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 useful this time around because I was able to spray everything, like everything that I was about to sit on, everything that I was about to touch or whatever with alcohol, just it makes me feel like more safe. So I do highly recommend getting a spray bottle for alcohol or um, if you have like those tiny cans of Lysol, I normally have that but uh, I didn't have one this time around. Uh, so I just used alcohol and it just made me feel like less nervous about getting sick at the airport, so I do highly recommend a spray bottle. Um, I also have AirPods because, or earphones rather, uh, because music, <laughs> I can get really, really, really mad at airports. My friends and family know this very well. I can get very mad very quickly. So earphones kind of keep me calm. <laughs> Having music playing keeps me zen and relaxed so this is also very important for me i also have uh i guess the obvious if you guys know me well enough lip balm two different shades no particular reason i just love lip balm especially because like i said being on a plane is super uh dehydrating like i ugh, you mm, mm. <laughs> so it was really nice to just have lip balm to rehydrate my lips because normally when I go to sleep uh, I'll wake up and my lips are so dry so these are just really nice to have I love lip balm and then I have I have two eye drops and this is because um, sometimes when I was in college I used to go straight from the airport to school <laughs> I used to be that kind of person and I, sometimes I would be so sleepy and so tired and having eye drops to kind of just freshen up your eyes and make you look more alive it's just super useful and again I still have that bad habit of scratching my eyes so this just feels like I'm cleaning my eyes eye drops super useful and I guess the last thing in here is my house keys something else fell but it's like trash <laughs> I have my house keys obviously because well uh, um, but because I'm not in Manila anymore, I am going to put these away. But normally, obviously, I have my house keys in my bag because when I was leaving the house, it's the first place I put it. And when I go back, it's I'm going to need to pull it out really easily. So house keys. Being honest, you don't actually need everything that I mentioned. It just so happens that these are the things in my bag. But the ones that I do highly, highly recommend is a pair of shades. Uh, protect your eyes <laughs> and your travel wallet. Honestly, you could do without everything else. These are just things that make it easy for Oh, right. Alcohol spray bottle and maybe candy. Candy and or uh, your reusable water container. Everything else you can kind of do without. Uh, but these are things that I really highly recommend. Everything else is kind of just like a bonus, like things that uh, 
add to the experience. <laughs> um, but everything else is also kind of common sense. I have my gadgets in my backpack because one, I want them close to me and I, again, uh, feel more responsible so that if it breaks, there's no one to point fingers at except myself. Um, and my wallet. Again, that's just common sense as well as my ID cards. Nothing, nothing too complicated, but again, I do highly recommend a travel wallet. It makes things so much easier. A pair of shades to protect your eyes because it can get really bright, especially if you're like me who gets on morning flights. A um, spray bottle for alcohol and or a small can of Lysol just so that you're disinfecting everything, especially because technically we are still in a pandemic even though restrictions are lessening. And candy <laughs> or water because uh, being on a flight is super dehydrating. Uh, if you've been on one, you'll know. And yeah, candy and or water, preferably water, but if you can't get that, candy kind of does the job for me. At least uh, it's low budget, it's desperate. <laughs> but enough about me, I do wanna hear from you. What do you normally keep in your travel bag? What do you do to make your travel experience less stressful? Because like I said, I get mad really, really easily at airports, like so easily. <laughs> I get ticked off so, so quickly at airports. So if you have any tips, please let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, I hope you don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the Hubian channel and ring that bell so you are notified every time we upload a brand new video. Again, my name is Nikki and I'm so glad that I met you here today. Until the next video, Bye!